No, if people want to leave our country, they can. If they don't want to love our country, if they don't want to fight for our country, they can. Uh, I'll never change on that, no. What? Do you think you're winning this political fight? I do think I'm winning the political Why? fight. I think I'm winning it by a lot. Why? I think that they are not espousing the views of our country, the four congresswomen. Uh, I think that they've said horrible things that the press doesn't cover. I think you should try covering it. When you look at some of the things they said, they're unthinkable. If somebody else or me or anybody else said things like that, uh, it would be uh, historic. So you ought to look at some of the horrible statements, because there's never been statements I'd like, like that. I'd like to follow up about that, Mr. President. You've been very outspoken about the anti-Israel friend, seemingly anti-Israel friend of the Democratic Party. How do you think that all began, and is there anyone in particular you blame on that? Well, the Democratic Party is really going in a direction that nobody thought possible. They're going so far left, they're going to fall off a cliff. So I think uh, they're making a big mistake, but who knows? That's up to them. Sir, isn't it a basic Mr. American principle to be able to criticize your government? Well, there's a lot of talk about the fact that she was married to her brother. I know nothing about it. I hear she was married to her brother. You're asking me a question about it. Uh, I don't know, but I'm sure that somebody would be looking at that. Mr. Sir, President, are you sending Rand Paul to the Sir, do you believe people should be allowed, sir, to speak? We good? Oh, I'm, I'm fine. Well, I think the story uh, last night was that 187 Republicans voted uh, in favor of Trump and four voted against. I think that was the big story. That seems to be the story. There's great unity in the Republican Party. It's very unfair what's happened with respect to the way I would say Republicans are being treated, frankly, but certainly, way, certainly the way this president has been treated. In the history of our country, there's never been anything like this. And this should never be allowed to happen to another president again. Should never be allowed to happen. Despite that, we've created the greatest economy in the history of our country. We're doing things like nobody's ever done. We have the best job numbers in the history of our country. African-American, Asian-American, women, uh, Hispanic-American, best job numbers we've ever had. And I have to go because I see it starting to pour. I'm not relishing the fight. I'm enjoying it because I, I have to get the word out to the American people. And you have to enjoy what you do. I enjoy what I do. The key is, the key is, it's not a question of relishing. They're wrong. They're absolutely wrong. That's not where our country wants to be. We're not going to go and we're not going to be a socialist country. It's not going to happen.